It's Kevin Jeans. I know the alert went out to so many people who have our apps in the middle of the night. Kevin, uh, how much snow are we going to get and when is it going to get here? It's going to start Wednesday morning. The snow will and this could accumulate all the way through Wednesday night and potentially through most of Thursday too. So uh, Thursday is the word. I, some of you who watch this morning, I know you're tired of hearing me say the word potential, but if Thursday is the day I'm not 100% sure about uh, the track of that storm system, but a lot to get through. Let's start with this afternoon. It's in the mid 20s right now. It's 25 degrees. The wind chill is 18. Wind chills are going to be around 20 degrees. Highs around 27 or 28 this afternoon. So our winter storm watch starts Wednesday morning, goes through Thursday night until 11 p.m. Look at the radar now. Not much to show you. It's a bright day. It's actually a nice afternoon. One of the nicer days that we've had over the last couple of weeks with temperatures at least closer to average. We've been below freezing since January 19th, and I think starting tomorrow morning, we're going to be above freezing for the first time in nearly two weeks. This is at noon tomorrow, and we'll be above freezing by about 10 o'clock in the morning. It will be breezy and mild. Some wind gusts will be around 25, 30 miles per hour tomorrow, but we warm up to about 40 degrees in the afternoon. And we'll get a chance of rain showers. So this is going to start as rain. Rain showers any point after 4 p.m. Rain fills in tomorrow night. This is 10 p.m. So it's going to be raining before midnight. And then a cold front moves through after midnight, but before the sun comes up Wednesday. So what happens? You have wet roads, falling temperatures below freezing, and maybe some icy conditions come Wednesday morning before we even have a whole lot of snow on the ground. So this is 3 in the morning. We'll fast forward through about 8 a.m. just after sunrise. At this point, temperatures falling into the 20s from the northwest to the southeast. So you got to be careful. Wednesday morning, roads could be slick, even though we're not going to have a ton of the snow on the ground. But areas northwest of Detroit, you might have an inch of snow on the ground by the time the sun comes up Wednesday. And then the snow continues basically all day Wednesday. We could have some rounds of real heavy snow Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. We might get some breaks there and the snow gets a little bit lighter. It looks like now Wednesday, but uh, mild tomorrow 41 with the rain Tuesday night. Keep in mind that salt crews can't be out there just salting the road preemptively because if it's raining, that's just going to wash that away. So that's a bigger reason why I think that there may be some slick and driving conditions Wednesday morning and then heavier snow Wednesday afternoon. Six to ten inches of snow come Wednesday night and additional snow falls possible through Thursday as another area of low pressure rides along this front Thursday. So if this front drags a little farther southeast, which it still may, that will pull some of the bigger snow totals with it farther southeast of us. So that's the caveat there is is, is Thursday. But this is the snow total forecast Wednesday through Thursday. 12 to 16 down river and south, 8 to 12, the rest of Metro Detroit and north, and then significantly lower totals, especially as you head across the thumb and north of Flint. So that is Wednesday and Thursday combined. Falling temperatures at the end of the week, highs only in the teens, Friday and Saturday, minus three for the low Friday night. It will be much colder by the weekend yet again. Alicia. All I'm right, sorry. thank you very much. We're going to break. We'll be right back. Well, big.